How you guys doing? How you guys doing? How you guys doing? This is ACAB, Father ACAB, whatever you want to call me, ACAB devil. But today we're going to have a conversation about some current events. We're going to talk about some things. We're going to discuss it. And I want you guys to understand something, right? That at the end of the day, end of the day, I care about my country and I care about people who are suffering. But that does not call for me to agree to everything that you want in the pursuit of supporting tyranny. Now, with that being said, guys, make sure you guys are tapping the stream. Make sure you guys are sharing the stream. We're going to have a conversation today. First things first. First item of news. We heard recently in the news that there is some news out of Israel. There was a refugee camp that was struck. And the intended target was allegedly a leader of Hamas. They claimed it was an accident. They claimed that they didn't target innocent civilians. That Hamas uses these human shields. That's what the claim was. Dozens of people. Dozens of people. No longer with us. Because of what Israel did. It is suspected that there was a bunker buster that was launched. And that's why it happened. People ask me all the time, why is it that I feel the need to comment on something that doesn't directly affect fat night, but that doesn't directly affect foundational black Americans or black sense American slaves or the black natives? And I, I can understand the reasons why people would ask that question. I totally get the reasons why. But here's my rebuttal. My rebuttal is that our tax dollars, instead of our tax dollars being used for, for, for reparations, instead of our tax dollars being used to help the homeless, instead of our tax dollars being used to lower inflation, do something about inflation instead of our tax dollars being used to uh, fix some of the roads that you've been driving on. It's being used to purchase weapons. The only person who is benefiting off of this are defense contractors. We, the American people, are not benefiting from what's being for 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 our our dollars being used to to buy weapons, construct weapons, construct, you know, these these colossal machines, you know, get defense contractors to 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 put out all this all this crap. And then give it to other countries so that they can go out and harm people with the weapons that we purchase as the American populace. The thing that I want the American people to understand is that the only reason why you should care is that your money is being used to go harm people instead of helping you. I want to remind you that during the past two years, there was a stimulus package that was being announced. Stimulus package. It was for struggling American families, struggling American families who were struggling with, with, with the inflation that was rising even then. Struggling with the cost of rent. They had to do a rent moratorium. You know, people, people were struggling. People were having a hard time. And they were debating about whether or not to give you a stimulus. They did not even debate giving, you, giving, giving Ukraine money. They didn't wait to give Israel money. They threw money at them. But they had a debate as to whether or not you can get a stimulus. Homelessness has skyrocketed. If you've been by Portland, L.A., New York, Chicago, you name it. They are doing more for people who ain't even citizens. As you as you may or may or may not have 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 actually noticed, they'll do more for people who are who who are not even citizens. They were debating or rather not to give you a stimulus check, but they got money for Ukraine. They got money for Israel. They got money for every other country except for you, the American people. And I ain't just talking about Democrats. Democrats are, are certainly guilty of it. Joe Biden gets no respect from me. Trump did it too. A lot of people did it. A lot of people did it. It wasn't just Democrats. It was, it was, it was, it was the Republicans too. The so-called progressives. Them too. The so-called conservatives. Them too. Left, far. It, it, it don't matter what side of the political spectrum you find these people who are politicians. It doesn't matter. They, were, they, they are so willing to give away your money to foreign conflicts versus helping homeless people on skid row. People are like, well, well those people are, are, are addicts. and Who cares? They're American citizens. I'd much rather, rather, rather all those billions of dollars go towards them versus, versus a, fig, a figure country I've never actually been to. Who cares? Who cares? Well, well, that country is, is suffering. We got to give money to Ukraine so they can go fight Russia. Why do I care about what happens in Ukraine? It ain't my country. 
Well, we can't allow Russia to 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 get control of this and that uh, or, or or this and that is going to happen. Do you know what that sounds like? That sounds like every election season when 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 black folks ask for for, for reparations or some kind of accountability with like freaking freaking police officers. It sounds just like that. It sounds just like that. You always tell us, just wait. Don't worry about, hey, hey, just wait. There's, there's, there's not enough of you for us to care about you now. But then you go over to freaking Ukraine. Ukraine, there are, there are more people in California than there are in, 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 in the whole country of freaking Ukraine. But you ain't helping the homeless people who are on the streets in freaking California. You are helping Ukraine. Well, well. And, and, and it also sounds like every election season, you saying the exact same thing, the exact same thing. Hey, this is the most important election of your lifetime. You say that every election season, everyone. And just like with this whole support with freaking with freaking Ukraine, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what happens there. You keep telling us. This is the most important thing out there. So, so freaking support it. You said the exact same thing about, about, about the freaking Patriot Act. The wars in Afghanistan, Iraq. I served in those conflicts. I have every right to make a freaking judgment. It was all based on a freaking lie. You told us it was important for you to get the freaking Patriot Act so that these intelligence companies, these, these, these intelligence agencies can spy on us, the American people. Well, you saw what happened in Maine, right? You saw what happened in Maine, right? You had a guy who was known to the FBI, known to law enforcement. You had his 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 family, friends, even the, the people who, who he served with in the freaking military calling law enforcement saying, hey, this guy is a problem. He might do something crazy. So all that bunch of sacrificing our freedoms for the freaking Patriot Act did nothing there, right? The cops, the, 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 the freaking cops were still useless, right? Right. So then why did I sacrifice my my freedom, my freedom so that you can't actually go after criminals? Your answer is to disarm the American people. Right. Right. So you want to disarm the American people because pigs didn't do their job. OK, so you want to take my guns because when you were told. Saginaw, uh, uh, freaking Saginaw police in, 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 in freaking Maine, you were told that guy was in actual danger. You did nothing. You did nothing. You had the power and you did nothing. So now you want to come take my guns because you didn't do your job. Do you see what's happening here? Because the American government didn't do their job, they want to take your freedom. The police did not do their job in Maine, so now they want to take your guns. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Because, because the government didn't do their job. When they tax you, they tell you, hey, we're taxing you so, so, that, so, that, so that we can build roads. We can, we can feed the homeless. And every time they fail to do their job, you get blamed for it. You, the American people, who, who is already being raw blind right in front of your mind, right, right, right in front of your eyes, having your tax dollars taken every day to be spent on bombs. Right. And then when they fail to do their job, they blame you. When when you have veterans who need help, who need housing, who need jobs, the government fails to help them. Right. And then when that veteran becomes homeless, they find a way to victim blame. You sent a person to war that breaks somebody's mind, man. Some people can't handle that. And it, it, that's. That's, that's okay. It, it is totally okay if you break down because you went to war. That makes sense. So that when so so when you come home, you should be taken care of. But we can't do that. We didn't blame blame the victim. We will we will say stuff like, well, what if he's an addict? Well, 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 what if he just simply lost his job because of his own fault? You find a way to blame the victim, but you have no problem. No problem with sending money to other countries. No problem. Mental health care, the, the psychologist, li listen, I've, I've had a lot of criticism towards the VA. But I understand at the same time, we are more willing to throw money 
at other countries than to help veterans who need help right now. We are, we are throwing money at Israel right now and we know Israel is committing crimes as we speak. You are throwing money over there so that you can, you can, you can, you can go make more refugees before you help the war fighters who are already here on your streets. Because I, I know this because I'm a combat veteran. I won't even use the VA. It's been that bad for me. So I know we've been lacking. I know that. I'm a veteran. That personally affects me. I can see the lack of care. I can see the lack of freaking freaking concern. I can see that. Why are we helping other countries fight wars when we haven't helped the people who fought the wars for us here? They're on your streets. They are in your Walmarts. They are, they are in your freaking grocery store parking lots parked inside of cars and freaking campers. They're on your streets. They are living in dumpsters right now. But they, they have no problem. Our government, our president, our, our, our entire government, Democrat, Republican, I don't care who it is. They're all guilty. They're all complicit. All of them. I'm not going to single out one person. They're all complicit. They're all complicit. You got, you got American cities right now. Black owned, you know, black, basically, you got American cities that are predominantly black. Right? Predominantly black. Who don't have running water right now. Don't have running water. But you're giving Israel bunker buster bombs. You're giving Ukraine tanks. Jets. There are children who can't even walk to school because, because it's, it's, it is too far away. But you worry about how Ukrainians are going to make it. You told me for the longest time, the reason why you were throwing out so many Haitians, Haitians who are black, who look just like me, you told me that immigrants were bad. You said that. Last year, 2022, the current administration deported the 20,000 Haitian, which, which, which was an actual record. The 20,000 Haitian. But you were inviting Ukrainians in. I'm going to say that again. Last year, in 2022, this current, current administration deported the 20,000 Haitian. 20,000. A record. But you're letting in white Ukrainians. And don't you tell me that, that when the Palestinians want to actually come here, because again, they're, they're refugees thanks to our bombs, thanks to us, to us, to us funding to, to us, to, to us funding Israel. When they come here, don't you tell me that some Muslim who comes from Palestine is going to be treated worse than a white Ukrainian girl when they want to come through immigration, when they want to come and get, come and come and get their papers. Because we saw exactly, right? We saw exactly how you treated Haitians. We saw that. And we see exactly how you're treating Hispanic people, Mexican people. You're pushing them, you're pushing them into black neighborhoods because those are neighborhoods that you, that you, that you perceive to be poor. That's why you shove them in there. Because you, you, you understand they ain't white either. And you want to keep them at a, at a, at a, at a certain level too. See, that's why you, you flood the zone with black communities with all these people who ain't from here. Because it's a way of controlling people who are here, who you also don't want here. But you using the other group as a vanguard. See, people, people miss that part when it comes to immigration. Oh yeah, we're going to talk about all this tonight. We're going to have a conversation. I've been going a while. Uh, sister girl Jess, how you doing? I much love. Thank you for always supporting me. I was away for a week. I needed to recharge my batteries. Um, I was, um, I, I realized that sometimes I can get a little bit fiery. And so I needed to take breaks off and spend time with my family and spend time with my, my boy and my, my little man. He's crawling and, uh, he slept the whole night last night inside his crib and we, we, we had up two cameras because the, well, the only way I can get my wife to agree, <laughs> we had to get up two cameras. <laughs> I had, I went to Xfinity and, uh, and I, I added to my internet account of this, this actual indoor <laughs> camera because they got the indoor and like the outdoor one. So I got the actual indoor one. And, um, so I, I went and I got, I went to the, to the company. I got, I got the professional camera and I went ahead and did that. 
and now we can see him in 4k so um we, we we watch him pretty much all the time and he, he he's never alone for more than like five or six hours we don't let him we, we don't let him sleep for that for that long because really he's supposed to be up and at him um but anyways we um we were having a discussion earlier about what happened in israel a refugee camp was hit by an israeli attack a lot of people a lot of people were harmed a lot of women and children And people want to say, well, what happened on, on October the 7th was horrible. And that's true. What Hamas did was awful. Like, we can't we can't sit here and make excuses for it. But I say that in context. I'm not going to go at the Native American for going at people who's on, who, who is on their land. I'm not going to go at, um, you know, the black person, the black maroon from the Florida lands and down in South America. I'm, I'm not going to go at them because they they got some innocent white people. As uh, somebody from Israel once said, uh, said uh, recently, that's the cost of war. When you occupy someone, you don't compensate them. You try to take their land. What do you think was gonna happen? And sister girl, just you, you have a right. You, 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 you are, you are definitely right. Let's make the the the, the distinction if I haven't already done so. And I'm pretty sure I've already done so. But again, I want to make sure I do it again. Palestine is not Hamas. It's not. It's not. It's not Hamas. All right. And to confuse the um two, it, it is intentionally disgusting, and those are not the same thing. They, 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 they are not the same thing. I want you to understand something, right? People are are, are are painting this like Jewish people versus Muslims, and that's not the case, right? There are Christian Palestinians. There are Jewish Palestinians. There are Palestinians who are atheists. So there are people out there who have absolutely nothing to do with any of this, and they are just caught in the crossfire. The vast majority of people who are, who are, who are, who are victims of freaking war are not the combatants. In almost any conflict, the vast majority of people who are victims of war are not the people fighting. It's the innocent bystanders. And the problem that I have with people who support Israel, though, is that I got to ask you, what is the basis of your support? They are on someone else's land. While I don't excuse Hamas's actions. I'm also not going to condemn. I'm, I'm also not going to condemn people who want their land back. Suppose Native Americans would rise up right now. I'm not going to condemn them. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do to condemn them. The one thing that I'm that I'm known to do is just keep it. Just 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 keep it honest. I'm going to call it exactly how I see it. And the way I see it right now, Israel has been the aggressor from the very beginning. You are not surrounded by that many enemies, and yet. Nothing, nothing is your fault. Come on now. If you can condemn them in some way, then stick to that. Focus on that. Tell them, tell them to actually change that. But, but, but don't support them. Because in war, there are no winners. There are no losers. Not in this. And aside from that, the reason why I care is because our weapons are being used for that. We are using, excuse me, let me let me point something out to you. I just been by Portland. I just went by Portland. Do you know what I saw? Homeless encampments. And when I say homeless encampments, it was so bad to the point where I was weaving through tents in the middle of the street. Seattle, it, it is even worse there. We're spending all this money to help Israel defend itself. My question is, why can't any of our money go towards American citizens? Excuse me. I don't see the IRS going up over the freaking Ukraine and auditing people. Hey, hey, hey. Did you actually use that money the way you're supposed to, to actually use it? Uh, um, did you actually account for it? The IRS ain't doing that. The IRS is coming to coming 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 to your freaking door and busting and and and, and 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 they are they are they are taking 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 your crap. Your home, your car, possessions, money, all that stuff. 
They're taking your crap. They're not auditing freaking Ukraine. They ain't auditing freaking Israel. They're auditing you. Why is it that you have to have more, more freaking accountability than someone at war? Someone at war should have more accountability than you, the American people. I'm going to say that for you again. As someone who's been to a war zone, who's actually fought in a war, let me say it for you again. Someone who's at war should have more accountability for your tax dollars than you, the American people. Because they're at war. If you waste the, the actual assets, if you waste the funds, you can't fight the war. And thus, we are funding you for no reason. We knew that Ukraine was one of the most corrupt countries in all of Europe before this war. True or false? True. We knew that. And now, even now, we are seeing, whereas some of the equipment, some of the money just gone missing. Go figure. The same government who has over a trillion dollars missing out of their budget every year. Go figure. The same government would give money to another country and not keep a, keep a freaking count of it. Go figure. Go, go figure. The same government who can't build a road has no problem throwing money at another country without asking them, hey, uh, can, you, can you keep track of that? The same government who not only started two wars in Iraq and freaking Afghanistan, but then brought in military contractors from who, who, who actually brought in contractors from Dyson, from uh, uh, Raytheon, <laughs> I, I mean, Dyncor, uh, they did the, the whole, um, uh, Dyncor did a lot of the uh, defects, a lot of the uh, mess halls, the cafeterias. They'll, they'll bring in all these contractors. And then overpay them, overpay these contractors, right? Before they simply give a homeless veteran a job. Halliburton, yeah. they will, they, they would rather go overseas, start a war, an illegitimate war, spend trillions of dollars before they'll drop a dollar to help a veteran who's going through addiction because he can't deal with combat stress. That's not that veteran's fault. It's, 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 it's not a veteran's fault if they end up homeless because, hey, a lot of people end up homeless. You got guys, listen, people, people don't seem to realize that what happens in Maine is a wake-up call. We have to take care of our veterans. That guy was a vet. You saw what he did. I guarantee you, I bet money, the VA is lying right now. They never got that man help. People who get help typically don't do this. He never got help. That's why they don't want to talk about it. All of a sudden, notice the news stories. They trying to just move on, right? No one's talking about the cops who didn't do anything when they were told this guy, um, this, this guy was actually dangerous. No one's talk, talking about the VA. Did he actually get VA care? Did he, did he actually get some help? Did he ever talk to anybody? Notice how no one's asking those questions. Why are they not asking those questions? I mean, if, if, that, if that would help us stop the next guy, right? Why not? Why not at least ask the question? But you won't ask the question because once you act, once you ask that question, you then gotta 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 actually do an honest inventory about what we're spending our money on. These pigs, these cops, they're useless. They don't even have a constitution. They, did you know that cops don't even have a constitutional duty to even to even protect you? But we're giving them billions of dollars. We gave those cops at Saginaw, in 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 freaking Maine. We gave them. Billions of dollars. I looked it up. We gave them billions. 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 And what did they do with it? Did they, did they actually stop the actual threat? They, did they at least, at the very least, at the very least, if you get other people in the military who say, hey, this guy's dangerous. If the military saying it, take his guns. They trained him. They know what he's capable of. Are you serious? 
You you had people on freaking CNN, MSNBC, Fox News. Oh man, we we're, we're so happy with the with the heroic response of law enforcement. The, the heroic response. They're such heroes. They did nothing. The man took himself out. They were literally useless. The FBI admitted he was on their radar. And they did nothing. Because they're useless. You are spending all this money on war and, 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 and outfitting police officers with freaking military gear. And for what? For what? They're doing nothing. These overseas conflicts that we're buying all this, all this freaking gear for, that's doing nothing for the American people. Black America, a lot of us don't even care about what's happening freaking overseas because, again, we're worried about, about reparations, an anti-black hate crime bill, and things for us and the American people. Most of all, we live here. We live here. So, again, I want Americans, the whole point of the stream is to really, really analyze, right? Analyze what you support and what you pay for. Not just on a federal level, but also a local level. Now is the first time I'll ever tell you, get involved in politics. Look at your local politics and federal politics. Look at what they're spending your money on. If, if the DMV or your local department of motor vehicles or whatever, if they're, if they're, if they're telling you um, we're spending money to uh, 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 build up roads and maintain roads. And if you look on your roads and your roads, roads are, freaking, are freaking jacked up, say something. Say something. Right? Say something. If you, if you at your local town council meeting, if you notice that money appears to be missing, not being accounted for, say something. If you know that your police officers are useless in your local area, call to defund them. Defund them. If there are, if they, if you got police officers, right? Right? If just, if just, if you got police officers that, that, if, that when warned, when warned, they're being told a guy's dangerous and they do nothing. They're being told this. This guy's dangerous. He's he's he shouldn't have firearms. He's dangerous. And you do nothing. You don't even call him. I mean, email, fax, page him. Yeah, I'm I'm going back that old school. Can you can you at least page him? Page him. Hey, Mr. Mr. Crazy Shooter. Hey, how you doing? Something. Damn. But these people spend all this untold money outfitting police officers with all this military gear and for what? So they can go after black folks. And let's just keep it about black folks. Then they go after Hispanics and then it's Asians. And then, but, but we're the number one targets. Don't, don't get it twisted. How are you 13% of the population yet you are number one in exonerations? Tells you a lot. Okay. You spend all that money outfitting police officers right outfitting police officers with a bunch of gear they will never use don't need and the only time they actually use it is when they want to abuse people right the only time they, they want to use it is when they want to abuse people make sure you guys tap the stream make sure you guys are sharing the stream um but again the only time they want to use it is when they want to abuse people right that's the only time they want to use it I want you to notice, nobody used all that military gear, their, their, their up armor, um, their, their freaking up armor, uh, freaking Bearcats and MRAPs. They didn't use any of that when it comes to that guy when they're being warned by military members. People in the military were warning them about this guy and they did nothing. Notice that they, they, didn't, they didn't use any, any of that military gear that time. But let a single black person criticize the police. And they can spin it like, oh, this person is a freaking public a, a, a freaking public safety threat. They will use those bearcats then. 
They'll use those freaking those those those, those freaking M raps then. Or say you're not even black, you a white person, and you criticize the police officers, and you and you don't and you don't back down. You will see those AR-15s then, that freaking body armor, all that stuff that police officers have. The only time they will go after they, they will go after a white person is when a white person is off cold. Oh, and they will go after you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, if you if you a white person who has the nerve and the audacity to defend a black person in front of a cop and nobody's filming, oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, I can tell you, man, it, I've I've seen it happen, yeah, mhm, mm mhm. Mm See, they use all that military gear on you. They send all that all that gear over over to to overseas conflicts for other people to use. But then when you want to go buy an AR-15, oh, why would anyone need an AR-15? I don't know. Ask the pigs, cause they 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 sure wasn't using it with that with that freaking guy in Dog Man. They have them. They didn't even use them. So. I, I guess you're right. Why do why do they even need them? Huh? Why do they do they even need guns? I mean, at this point, do you see what your money is being spent on? Do you see what your money is being spent on? Is being spent to either abuse you or neglect you? At this point, it wouldn't shock me if people in other countries are getting more money directly than than, than the American people. It wouldn't shock me at this point. I haven't seen anything, anything that really supports that. But if I heard it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even doubt it. If I heard it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even doubt it. I would just believe it outright. No evidence. Because I know what I'm seeing. I I've seen people in Chicago, Philadelphia, New York, Los Angeles, uh, I mean every part of Georgia or South Carolina or Virginia. Right? Who's been asking for help? With infrastructure, with freaking infrastructure, inflation, fuel costs, rent costs, mortgage costs. A lot of people are getting foreclosed on right now. I hope you know that. And I would love for some of that money that, that we're sending over to freaking Ukraine and freaking Israel to go help people who are American citizens. I don't care what color you are. Keep your home. Jesus. I would love to. I would love to see that. But again, the American government is not for the American people. They will outsource your job before they help you find one. <laughs> I'm gonna say that for you again. They'll outsource, they will outsource your job before they help you find one. Don't believe that? Go ask a military contractor who's not American, who served in Iraq or 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 Afghanistan. Go ask them how much they made. I know a guy. Um, one of the reasons why I got back into Magic the Gathering is because down in down in combat, I was in Kandahar, Afghanistan. There was a guy named Mark. I'm not gonna say his last name just for privacy purposes. He's a contractor. Did he he did the exact same job that I did, but he got paid over hundred thousand dollars for doing it. And he was doing that that job. I think he was he was in his seventh year. He said that he was gonna do it for ten years. He lived off a very minimal you know amount of, amount of money. He got he got free meals, and he got water. He got he got the he let you know he he got all the bare 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 necessities, so he just saved a hundred thousand dollars every year for ten years. He said, "I'm going to save up up to a million dollars, and I'm going to buy my home." This man was making more than double what I was making, doing the exact same job. In fact, he didn't even do the job. He 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 he, he stood around and watched us do it, because because we're soldiers, you you can just order us. You can just order him. See, the worst you can do to him is tell him to go home. So um, that was the reality. So that shows you. And, and Mark, I don't think he was American. I think he was, he was he was Canadian. They would rather pay a foreign citizen six figures with benefits, with benefits, before they help will help a single homeless veteran. And you got people who are Democrats who are supporting this war in Ukraine and the conflict in Israel. They support in Israel and not realizing how that makes you look to a lot of veterans who already have seen the American people, especially veterans, be ignored. 
right? We, we have watched this for far too long. It's not just a revolt against Democrats. It's a revolt against all parties. You tax us. You take our money. You got folks out there who are farmers who bust their butt every morning. You got bus drivers who are driving bad kids to school, getting cussed out every day, getting, getting, getting stuff thrown at them. You got teachers who are busting their butt trying to raise your kid because you don't want to. You got principals out there taking, taking the heat every day. You got, man, you got street sweepers. The most unappreciated job out there, but the most necessary. You got trash men who are taking it. I mean, literally got the worst job ever. You got folks out there who are working hard for their money and got nothing to show for it because our government would rather send money over for war, fund police officers, right? Give them military gear, give them, give them all the same military gear that we're giving to freaking Ukraine, we're giving to the freaking, the freaking, freaking, freaking Israel, Taiwan now, giving them all this stuff and for what? For what? Have you not noticed that the biggest, the biggest, biggest expenditures that we've had in the past six months have been the cops and overseas, overseas conflicts? Seriously, look at how many police departments have gotten pay raises all of a sudden. The city of Chicago just, just, just now agreed to that the LAPD been, been actually, actually, uh, uh, the LAPD with Karen Bass just now agreed to that a couple months ago. NYPD as well. SFPD over there in San Francisco, uh, Florida, you know that. South Carolina, um, they got a, a pay raise because uh, uh, Sheriff Leon Lott, who is a, a very evil person, let's just say that, if you ever watch my content. The thing is, he asked for a salary increase. He got that. All the cops across, across the country are asking for salary increases, even though they already get military gear. And they claim they're, they are so broke. How many cops do you see who are homeless? You've met people who work in gas stations who also are homeless. I've met one. Lives right, right, down, the, um, lives right down the street, lives in a camper. Yeah. He's homeless, but he works in a freaking convenience store full time. Doesn't do drugs. I know the guy. It's not his fault. It's just very expensive. <laughs> like, if you don't understand that, man, you, you haven't been to a freaking grocery store lately. lately. Not everybody can, can actually afford what you can afford. Okay? Um, and you, you got the American people who are funding all these conflicts, who are funding all this stuff. What is it, right? What is it that we're getting for all this, and Ronnie Thomas, let me, let me just read out what he says. If you get a job worthwhile, you can get a place. I, I want you all to read that comment, right? And ask yourself, do you think this person is saying this out of good faith? Or do you think this person is just saying that because he wants to criticize homeless people? Yeah. Yeah, so Ronnie, you can have a good day. And on top of that, Ronnie, I also say you can hop into the queue. You have over a thousand followers, Ronnie. So I want you to hop into the queue. Right? I want you to hop into the queue, Ronnie.
स्नेही आनी Yep. How do you not do? made as a derogatory statement? No, 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 no. I, I, I want to ask you a question though. So, what do you consider a worthwhile job? Well, welding, plumber, you know, all these trade jobs that Ooh. none of the high schools push for. It's all college, 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 college. You know, learn about so everything. So you just repeated your own your own your own argument just now. You just said the college, the the the, the definitely schools don't push it, but then you're gonna blame the people who don't go into to the field that the schools don't push. No, I'm not saying that I blame them at all. You literally just said it. No, you said I, if you get a job, hold on, wait. You 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 made a statement, and I'm going to repeat the statement. If you get a job that's worthwhile, then you then you will find a place. I asked you what is a job that's that's worthwhile, and you and you and you named a bunch of, a bunch of things that that you just claim is not being taught in schools. Right. I'm not saying right. anything derogatory toward you. I'm saying it to derogatory to the school system. Hmm. Let me ask you a question also. So if if let's say let's say you you have a person who's a soldier. A soldier. Okay. Say that person tells you I'm on food stamps. What will be your 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 automatic response? Is it enough? You would ask him is it enough? Yes. I know how the military pays. I'm not a ex-military person, but I have friends who are and they don't pay shit. Is that what you believe? Yes, it is. Okay, no, no wait, wait. I want to ask you a question. How many years do you think I served? I didn't know that you did serve, but thank you for I, your service. I, I'm I'm going to tell you, not only did I serve, I'm in a very unique category. So, the VA gives out compensation based on how injured you are. It's a pay scale from 0 to 100%. Now, most veterans don't get a don't don't get a single rating of of zero or zero percent. Most of them don't get a single rating. I bet a hundred percent. Okay, my uh, mm -hmm. father-in-law is at ninety percent. And I'm telling you right now that a soldier coming into basic training as a private, them being on food stamps is not unusual. In fact, it's common. If you that's that. what I'm saying. They don't pay enough. No, that's not what you what you just said. Okay, then what did I just say then? Okay, we're okay. So I'm I'm gonna repeat what you just said, but I'm not gonna play this game with you. Okay, I, I don't like this whole back and what? forth thing. Where's where? No, 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 sir, sir, sir. The one thing that I'm very I'm I'm very much am is direct and straight. You just said that you you would you would didn't ask him a question. Is it enough? Okay, and I and I and I and I said, okay, you would ask him, is it is it enough? Do you have a hard time believing? There's veterans on food stamps. Who, who people who, who I doubt that at all. The military doesn't pay nowhere near what it should. Okay, so if you so let's then then, then let's go back to your to your original statement. If you get a job that's worthwhile, you you will find a place. The only the only reason why people have have a place in the military is because of the barracks. The only reason why. You do get that right. No, that's you, not you what I'm saying. That, right? I'm saying if you don't like, I, I'm not even talking about military in that sense. What I'm saying is, if you go to trade school, a plumber here in Hickville, Tennessee, makes about sixty dollars an hour. Some plumbers do. Some do, yes. Most don't. And that's where the worthwhile comes in. But I just named the military, who was the single largest employer in the country. There's no employer. That, that that actually employs more people than than there's no single large largest the, the single largest largest employer in the country is the, actually the DOD. A lot of people don't don't actually know that. I can believe that we have yeah. a wonderful military service. There are people right now who work for the DOD who are homeless. Did you did you did you know that? DOD homeless mm -hmm. data entry clerks. Okay, they what? Don't, they don't, if, you, awesome. if you are a data entry clerk. In, in, in freaking Washington DC making 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 minimum wage in DC. I don't live in DC. I don't know what the uh, living rate is up the there. The cost of living in DC in some areas is worse than New York or or LA or Miami. Well see you need to come out to the country. 
Some people, just, some people just can't pick up and move like that, man. And I'm, I'm, I'm seeing now. <laughs> Have you ever traveled outside of your area? Yes, I've been to many countries. Hmm. And do you ever notice how people didn't just move over to your area because it was just so much better? Do you, do you think maybe there's a reason for that? That wow. moving is very expensive? Cities coming to small towns in Tennessee. Well, one, there's several, several problems. One is not just the cost of moving. It's also dealing with your local politics. Nobody wants to just deal with down south politics. I'm from South Carolina, so I understand the reason why some people may not want to deal with that. Okay, because some of you in those small towns don't want to change your behavior to actually draw people to make them want to want to actually come. You want to just keep into this whole belief system, and then when confronted with actual facts, you didn't you didn't stick to what to 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 what you believe or just talk around it. But Tennessee, in particular, I can totally understand why no black person wants to actually go there. I can get why some people who are LGBT might not might not, might not want to go there. So a lot of these small towns that you're at your at your that you're talking about, you would get more people who would actually come there if you would change. But you won't because you think that your way of life is right. And when I first asked you the question, I said, hey, I read your statement out. I didn't repeat your statement. You've talked around this statement so many times to the point where it's, I you can't do so like that. And so I want you to have a great day, you sir. Are. I don't want you to speak uh, anymore. My thing is, is that I don't like people like that. That's not right. He's justifying what's happening to people. I, I said soldiers, and he's, I said DOD people, and he still kept going. Just move to my small town, and you'll be all right, as if poverty is not bad in Tennessee. Wow. Wow. <sighs> Some folks, man. Some folks. But you just saw what I'm talking about. You saw what I just talk, what, what I was just talking about, man. Some people are so deep into the boot, man. They'll justify you being poor and other countries having money for bombs. Case in point, folks. Anyways, until next time, horns up, peace out. Good night and good luck.